Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world. Goddamn cryptocurrency. That's right. So here's a little interesting story. Story time with Richie. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sure you remember, ooh, a couple months back, four months ago or something, there was a dApp called BUSD Farm, which was a miner contract. One of the most successful miners ever created. Got more than $2 million locked into it at one point. So... As that began to run out, the developer of that dApp saw the success of other dApps and decided that he wanted to fork one of them. He ended up forking the BUSD machine version one. I mean, forks happen in crypto. I'm not saying there's anything bad about that. That's just the way it is. Uh, that's how we evolve dApps. So we all did our thing. I didn't actually go into this one, but you know, a lot of my community did. They aped in, they put the BUSD in. The BUSD minted the B farm token. Then they staked that B-Farm token for more rewards and eventually they thought it's time to sell the B-Farm token and get back your return on your investment, your BUSD back. But then they noticed that things were going a bit awry. The telegram was full of arguments being led and forced by the developer. He kept up putting up timers, which would get down to zero, promising an amazing new development. But when the timer hit zero, nothing happened. So they thought they'd take a look at the code and they realized that the developer was actually gambling with the investment money on Betfury, a cryptocurrency gambling site. And when they tried to sell the B-Farm into BUSD token, there was a 37% development fee going to the developer. So they decided, this community decided to say, fuck you to the dev. They made him hand over the dev wallet and they took over the project, deciding to find, trying to find a way to refund everyone their money from the pockets and deliver on the promises which were offered in the first place. And Treasure Island was born. <laughs> so today we're gonna have a look at Treasure Island. Uh, I'm making this video as a community effort because I find this really interesting. Uh, it was my mate, OX Sherlock, who I guess he's a blockchain detective. He got in touch with me and told me about this. And let's just have a look. I mean, I'm not saying you should invest in this or not. I'm just offering this as more of an educational video on the potential of DeFi, because what can be done with uh, the right kind of innovation, but also the, the dangers of DeFi, where if you go into the wrong project with a developer who's going to be malicious, then you could fall into some hot water there and lose your funds. So let's get into it. Let's have a look. And yeah, 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 um, like, subscribe, write comments, you know, let's open a discussion about this. Pretty interesting. I think it's interesting. If you do too, please write in the comments, pump that algorithm. Yeah. So here we are, Treasury Island. So this is the layer two, the community version of this DAP. You can find the original here, which is also the community version. Both are now run by this team. Um, but this, as you can see, is a pretty much a, a total fork of the BUSD machine version one, which... I'm sure if you don't know, the problem is that it's very hard to sell the reward token on this because there's it's been botted. I'm sure it's been botted. V1's botted, this one be botted. Okay, and only 10,000 can be sold per, per day. But you can also sell this token on PancakeSwap. But we're not gonna spend much time looking at this because I'm more interested in what they've done with it, okay? So here's Treasury Island. The way this works is you will take your BUSD token, approve your spend, okay, of for example, 300, then approve, click that, confirm, and then buy and stake. When you buy and stake, you will receive the B farm token, which will be automatically staked in this banker here. So dealer has the beer, banker has the safe. It'll be staked for seven days. As you can see, I have staked me some already. Let's have a look. My staked amount is roughly $300 that I've staked. and. I have a 0.42 share of the entire pool. So the pool dividend at the moment is only $86. So this is extremely brand new, I guess, or unknown. I'm not sure which one it is. And the dividend which I've got so far is 12 cents of BUSD from this. This will continually click up dividends for me of BUSD. When I am done with this DAP, I will then, after seven days, because it's seven day lock, as you can see here, six days, 23 hours, I still have, okay. Then I will unstake my B farm and I could withdraw the BUSD, which I've earned at the moment, 12 cents. I could withdraw that if I wanted. From that point, I would go to PancakeSwap and I would sell the B farm back into BUSD also. 
So these dividends that we're um, getting for staking our B farm token on Treasury Island, where do they come from? There are two sources that will provide cash flow to pay dividends. When someone sells on busdfarm.app, they capture that 25% fee that was being seized, was being used by the evil wizard, yeah, the old dev. This capture fees will be used to add liquidity into the dealer section of Treasury Island. Whenever someone trades B farm uh, on the dealer, and also whenever someone trades B farm on the dealer, each player Each player will get a dividend based on his or her share percentage. Dividends will be distributed to shareholders in hourly batches. So I will see my BUSD grow hourly on this DAP. So it would be pretty much like this, okay? Buy B farm with BUSD, and it will automatically stake your B farm in the DAP, where you will earn dividends, and in the future, you will also earn this TISL token, which is why I'm doing this. Then you can unstake from B farm after seven days or as long as you want. Sell the B farm, either on BUSD farm, if you can beat the bots or Treasury Island and earn BUSD from that. Now, of course, selling your tokens would be based on the token price, which has been steadily declining at the moment, of course, because this DAP is not very well known yet, which is why I'm helping by making this video, basically. So the one thing of interest for me, which is very interesting, is this uh, earn TISL. What is that? And the reason, the whole reason I'm doing this is because in the future, very soon in the near future, Treasury Island Selenium token is going to be coming out. Now, this is extremely complex. Uh, essentially, it's another token that you will be given for holding your B farm in the Treasury Island app. 100 of them are distributed every day. And depending on how much percentage you have, of the pool of B farm in the DAP, that means that you get a, a portion of that. With this token, you can then buy soldiers. The soldiers are gonna cost you one TISL token each. You use the soldiers to capture pirates, which will give you pirate token. Then you would sell the pirate token back into the TISL token. Then you could sell that TISL token and profit. So TISL token gets you the soldiers, the soldiers then get you the pirate token. You sell the pirate token back into TISL, then sell that token back into BUSD. I think that's what's happening here, but correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so then further on into their roadmap, if you come all the way down to the bottom, they also will have NFT integration with this. Two types of NFT, white spirit NFTs and black spirit NFTs, which will be giving us boosts or skills in, in the game. Yeah, protecting soldiers from elimination will be the white ones and the black ones will be increasing your staking reward by 50%. So very interesting. And like I say, like uh, something for you to research and learn about because this is essentially innovation and evolution in action from a bad thing becomes a good thing. Yeah, born of fire. Okay, that is a very short video today on Treasury Island. I just thought I'd mention it to let you guys know something that I went into today and something good that the DeFi community did. Mm. Peace, not correct.